bit of the bulkhead that sticks out right there that holds the shelf and I'm going to uh, cut notch that out first and then slide this ahead a bit and I'm going to air it towards the um, front uh, on this panel and then I'm going to come back and uh, make a mark or two where I have to shave a bit out to get it to contour to this wonderfully non-straight uh, ceiling panel. So, just gonna look at how far past I want that to go. And it's basically this far. <laughs> Sometimes I just use my finger. All right, another thing I don't know if I mentioned when I was doing the other side, but before I cover this up with the panel, um, and in fact, at any stage before this, um, I take a, a marker and I mark on here where the edges of this plate, this nailing plate is. And I have, so I have two of these. I have one here and I have one over, one over there. There's two of them on each side. So, once this uh, plate goes up, it's going to be hard to tell where these nailing plates are. So I try and mark them real good, and uh, so that when I put that up, I try and put my first four screws in the four corners on uh, on both plates, and then it kind of tells me this is my main nailing area. The center is where I put my. Um, wires so I want to be at the sort of the bottom end of this or the top of this ideally and uh, even if you did drive a screw straight through uh, there's a somewhat decent chance you're either going to miss the wire or you're going to push the wire aside maybe not with all the foam that's in there but anyway just try and stay towards the top or the bottom and you should be good if not you'll be very sad wondering why something doesn't work that's okay because we can always run more wires but yeah so mark your uh, these nailing plates the two of them down here where you can see them once you put the plate up and that's what I got to say about that
carpet is full of staples. Uh, the plywood, I can tell right now, is going to be destroyed and need to be replaced. One thing you gotta love is it is all painted, beautiful, spotless metal. No rust anywhere. Just absolutely beautiful. And that's why I bought this van. Absolutely wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. 
what I was trying to do the first time was put vice grips on the underside of the bolt um, because these are these bolts are laid out just like uh, the rest of the seat bolts if you watch those boring episodes um, uh, the bolt it's a big nut that goes through fortunately on the outside of the frame so it's not in under the gas tank and uh, so it's accessible so I was putting vice grips on the, the nut and then trying to keep the constant pressure from an impact gun to turn it off, but the vice grips just kept coming off. So back to the uh, grind the head off the bolt method. Oh yay. So I got it down so far now, I've just got to go get a, a hammer and a punch. Make sure I can pop it through. Now I just got to do the same on the other side. So I've got that bar up, I uh, took that bar up, I had to uh, grind the head off with a grinder and then uh, use a punch to punch it through, but I got it all out. The floor is in absolutely beautiful condition, um, yeah, just fantastically solid and clean, and even though that's the case, I am cleaning up the floor, especially under the wall uh, compartments, really good. And after I get it cleaned up really good, I am going to put an extra coating of protection there in case any moisture ever sits down there. Rocker guard black. So this dries hard, you can actually paint it, but all we want to do is create an extra layer of protection against any moisture that might ever get into the wall because if you've owned one of these things you know that they just leak so you have to protect everything yeah I'm not sure why people think I'm fussy I'm not sure why people I think I'm a little bit crazy or fussy, you know, doesn't make any sense to me. Just doing what I gotta do, you know. Want a nice clean surface in here. If you have to scrub it with your toothbrush, just don't use that toothbrush anymore, you know. That's all I'm saying. Alright, I just uh, used a little toothbrush and um, some Lysol kitchen power degreaser, um, cleaner, grease cutting, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and cleaned out all the uh, area around the bottom of the walls. And now I'm going to spray it with that uh, rocker guard and let it sit for, uh, no doubt, hours. And then come back and uh, start uh, continuing the insulating. And um, as well as I have to pull out all these screws that I didn't get out before. But I'm going to spray the rocker guard in now because I want it to sit for a while before I start uh, working with the insulation around it. Alright, got all the bottoms of the walls and around the uh, wheel wells sprayed just up about, uh, you know, two or three inches. Just anywhere that the water could sit. That is the goal, is just to not give water that ever makes it into the walls of your van, uh, not give it a metal surface to react to. So just spray it in all around there. And for those of you who are concerned with fumes, um, you should be, because right now I'm losing my ability to speak. Um, very fumey in here right now. 
And uh, but as far as after when that dries and when the walls are sealed up, nope. I've done this on every van um, here in the northeast. Uh, you got to protect all the metal. There can't be any bare metal. So these spots where um, the uh, where the um, chairs used to be, I have to grind those down and spray them with uh, that same product. Um, can't have any bare metal things rust out here. So anyway, uh, yeah, so now I have some oxygen. I can breathe. That's good. That's an excellent uh, step forward. And um, But yeah, I've done this on every build. And if there was the least bit of a fume after the build was done, I would be totally on it. I would I would never have done this again. Um, but there is no fumes uh, later on if you do it right. And um, yeah, protects your van. And that's what we want. We want longevity. Lots of longevity. All right, I took uh, vice grips and uh, just locked on to all those screws that were left in the floor from taking up the plywood and just turned them out by hand. I've been uh, picking away at the uh, insulation and foaming. You do so much and then let the foam cure so you can trim it and do the next layer. Uh, the other big thing I've been doing is building this bulkhead. So the original one, um, there's a... <coughs> so this and the piece, that the structural piece that actually goes behind it, um, would now be too shallow because we brought the ceiling down uh, an inch or two so they'll no longer fit in there and then if you tried to trim it too much um, you would just run out of space because there's only a little bit there right so I took a piece of plywood traced the original and just kept shaping it basically into the new uh, the new space and uh, getting it in here far enough so that now I'll tack probably with a nail gun or a staple gun whatever you call it um, tack this up uh, I didn't so I had to cut that hole so that I could go in and trace where these uh, little bulkhead pieces are I might have to trim this a little bit more um, but they're pretty good and um, yeah so now I have to uh, decide on my final size for this opening so I didn't cut over this side because there'll be cabinets here and um, the cabinets won't come out that far but I mean if you take your cabinets right to the ceiling you won't be able to access if you cut this hole all the way down um, it'll be going down past the cabinet and if you did try and, want to try and make a decent door or something it would just be a pain so um, yeah so I have to uh, trim this hole out a little bit bigger now and um, decide how far down there I'm going to do that and then I probably won't actually stick this in there because I want to put more foam down in the corners uh, in the front there and stuff so anyway so yeah building building this and I'll slap some of the light blue paint on it anyway that's how all this is going so far are you beaten broken destroyed got nothing left you've given up and you feel like checking out don't start thinking outside the cage Hit the open road or blaze a
across the sky if 